Hello everyone, it's so great to be with you today. We have a great story for you about grit, but before we hear it, join me to sing about how amazing God is. If 
wanna show it, so do all three like this. Come on now. singing today. So, you might remember from last time that God helped Joseph so that he was able to explain the meaning of some really strange dreams. During his time in prison, Joseph had explained the meaning of a dream for the Pharaoh's drink taster. Joseph had asked this man to talk to the Pharaoh and see if he could help get Joseph out of prison. But unfortunately, the drink taster completely forgot about Joseph. Until two whole years later, one day, the ruler of the land, the pharaoh, had some strange dreams that he couldn't explain. The dream taster heard about this and he was like, oh yeah, there was this guy in prison named Joseph. I bet he could tell you what your dreams are all about. So the pharaoh called for Joseph. Pharaoh then explained his dreams to Joseph. In one dream, there were seven fat, healthy cows eating grass by the Nile River. Then seven sickly and skinny cows came up and ate them. In another dream, there was a stalk of grain with seven healthy heads of grain growing on it. Then seven dried up heads of grain grew and ate the healthy grains. I told you, these were strange dreams. But with God's help, Joseph was able to tell what they meant. Joseph said, God has shown Pharaoh what he's about to do. Seven years with plenty of food are coming to the whole land of Egypt. But seven years when there won't be enough food will follow them. Then everyone will forget about all the food that Egypt had terrible hunger will destroy this land. This wasn't good news at all, but Joseph had an idea. Joseph told the Pharaoh that it would be wise to hire someone to take charge and save extra food in the good years. That way they would have food later when nothing was growing. Pharaoh thought this was a great plan and he put Joseph in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Joseph traveled all over Egypt and helped store up grain during the seven good years. When the years of hunger began, Pharaoh sent everyone to Joseph's to buy food. And here's the really interesting part. The famine had spread outside of Egypt into Canaan, where Joseph's family lived. Joseph's family members were hungry and had heard there was grain in Egypt. So Joseph's father, Jacob, sent Joseph's brothers to Egypt to buy food. Well, all of the brothers except the youngest, named Benjamin. The 10 older brothers made the journey to Egypt and they came before Joseph. They bowed to Joseph just like in Joseph's mysterious dreams from so long before. So Joseph recognized his brothers, but they didn't know who he was. Joseph decided to test them by saying they were spies. He ordered them to leave one of the brothers behind. Joseph told the rest of his brothers to return home and come back with their younger brother named Benjamin. They did as he said, and they left for Canaan. Joseph had the brother sacks filled with grain as he sent them away. When they returned home, they showed Jacob the grain and told him everything that had happened. At first, Jacob refused to let Benjamin go, but soon all the grain the brothers had brought from Egypt was gone. Jacob sent them back, this time with Benjamin, to buy more. He told them to take gifts and twice the money so the Egyptians wouldn't be mad. The brothers all traveled to Egypt again. When they arrived, Joseph ordered that the brothers be taken to his own house, where a special meal was being prepared. When Joseph heard that his father was still alive and he saw Benjamin, he was so moved that he left the room to cry. Then at last, Joseph told his brothers who he was. Joseph said to his brothers, come close to me. So they did. Then he said, I'm your brother, Joseph. I am the one you sold into Egypt, but don't be upset and don't be angry with yourselves because you sold me here. God sent me ahead of you to save many lives. Wow, that's amazing. Joseph forgave his brothers. He told them to go home and bring their dad, Jacob, and the rest of their families to live in Egypt where they would have enough food. 
The whole family settled in a place called Goshen, and they had enough to eat through the rest of the famine. Joseph's story teaches us this. Hold on, because there's a bigger story. God had a bigger plan through all of the ups and downs of Joseph's life. In the end, God brought Joseph's whole family back together, and God worked through everything that happened to save many lives. Let's pray and ask God to help us have the same kind of grit that Joseph did. Dear God, it's amazing to see how you took care of Joseph. He went through some terrible things in his life, but you were always with him. In the end, it turned out that everything led up to the moment when Joseph forgave and saved his brothers. You always had a good plan for his life, and you have a good plan for our lives too. Help us remember to trust you always. We love you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining me today as we learn about grit this whole month. Be sure to have your family head to our website at crosspointweb.org family for information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story along with ways to connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to Crosspoint's YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye now.